Hi guys, before I get into this video, I just want to give you another Christmas related fact about me. So when I was a small boy, I used to go up to my dad's parents home during the Christmas period. I went up there with my brother and my parents and we used to have Christmas up there as well. Um, and one thing that they did with um, Christmas presents is they got a massive cardboard box and they filled it up with like shredded bits of paper and around the edge they actually had little strings around it and you had to like choose a string and then you like held on to it then you pulled on it and whatever present was on um, the other end of the string was what you got for Christmas it was kind of a unique thing for them to actually do because I think that they had no idea or clue what to get me and my brother so that was kind of a fun way for them to actually do it and it's um, always in my mind it's it's a um, very dear memory that I have at that moment in time also before I go any further I just want to give a massive shout out and a massive thank you to slowly red um, he recently done a video where he gave me a massive shout out amongst many other booktubers and as a result of that video I have had a upsurge of subscribers and it's been insane it really has and um, if you are new to my channel and if you're watching this thank you so much especially if you've come across I mean um, especially if you've come through Slowly Red's channel thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and giving my videos a chance. Hi guys, my name is David. If you are new here, hi, welcome. And if you have been watching my channel for a while now, welcome back. So today I am gonna be doing the festive Christmas book tag. The original creator of this tag um, is called Kate from Girl Reading. I will put a link to her original video down in the description so um yeah no one tagged me to do this video um i just thought that it would be a nice cool thing to actually do also if you see me looking down i'm just looking at my notes and if you want to do this tag i will put all the questions down in the description box as well so it's going to be more easier for you to do this tag if you want to question one a fictional family you would like to spend Christmas dinner with now this was a fairly easy question for me to answer because I instantly went to this family in my mind the minute I heard this question and that is the Weasleys from the Harry Potter novels I would love to go to the burrow at Christmas time and have Christmas with the Weasley family I think that would be a really cool and magical um experience to have all these um like wizards around me and all these spells and all these and, and all these um like like festive um food around and all these presents from the wizarding world that would be really cool question two a bookish item you would like to receive as a gift now i had to really think about this one as I was thinking, what's the point on point in having a fictional item um, that I'm never going to have in real life? What's what's the point in thinking about it? But I came to a decision. I am going to um, say that I would love to receive the actual Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy tablet or book that is in the novel. You know, the one that Arthur Dent uses throughout the whole novel. I would love to have that actual book and um, that that would actually be insane it really would especially because it's like kind of like a um, it's, it's kind of like a tablet and I'm pretty sure it talks to you as well and to have all that knowledge with all about all these um, different worlds and alien races and all this quirky information and facts that would be really really awesome I would probably binge that book all night and um, read it all in one sitting. Question three. A fictional character you think would make a perfect Christmas elf? Now I know a lot of people are gonna say Dobby from Harry Potter for this question, but I am gonna be different. I am gonna say that Marvin would make a fantastic Christmas elf because I feel that that would 
give him the opportunity to prove himself and his abilities because he's always saying about how he's depressed with his um, life and I think that being around Christmas um, um, stuff and Santa Claus and the North Pole that would make him so happy and he would thrive and plus he would be so adorable in a elf costume and he might even get over his uh, the depression you actually never know um but yeah marvin who is marvin uh, from the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy is who i think would be the perfect christmas elf question four match a book to its perfect christmas song now this was the most hard question for me to answer or the most difficult question for me to come up with something i have no idea but i am going to that maybe come up with something easy for this um, question. I am going to say A Christmas Carol and the song that I've chosen for that novel is going to be Silent Night as it's, if you think about it, um, if you think about it, all of uh, Scrooge's uh, visits from the um, ghosts are happening in Chris on uh, Christmas Eve when everyone is asleep. Um, supposedly everyone is asleep and the whole town of London is quiet. So I'm going to say Silent Night for A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Question five, Bar Humbug. A book or fictional character you've been disappointed in and should be put on a naughty list. Now, I really couldn't think of a character, so I'm gonna go with a novel. And um, this book was recommended to me in August of this year. And um, it is The Clan of the Cave Bear I can't remember the author, but I will put a picture up here. This um, was an extremely hard book for me to get through. It was, um, I wouldn't say boring, but it was, well, I guess it was crossed between boring and being dry. I wasn't really um, invested in, in the story. But with all that said, I'm willing to give this book another chance. It's part of a series. It's the first book in a series. Uh, I'm not sure whether I will get through all the other books in the series. I, but right now I'm just content with reading, with, le with leaving it with this one. It wasn't that intriguing for me to actually read this. It was a drag. It really was. I, it was a slog for me to get through this book. It really was. So this is the book that I choose to be on the naughty list. Question six. A book or fictional character you think deserves more love and appreciation and deserves to be put on the nice list? For this, I am going to say Car Carrie White from Stephen King's novel, Carrie. If you, I mean, everyone should know who Carrie is. Uh, she's been in several movies. and um, But um, if you didn't know, she, Carrie is a teenage girl who is constantly tormented and bullied in her school by her, um, by her, her fellow um, students, or I would say classmates, because she doesn't have any friends in this book. And she's constantly picked on for her appearance and what, and for what she actually, and for some of the stuff that she actually does in the book, and um, and uh, it's incredibly upsetting. It really is. And um, I mean, this girl is just trying to get by, and she's not really bothered about being popular. She just wants to go through high school and just to be accepted for who she is, and. Um, maybe pick up some friends along the way and it doesn't help matters that Carrie has a overly religious mother that constantly torments Carrie when she's at home as well and is continuously saying that numerous stuff that Carrie does and says is a sin so um, that's who I believe should be put on the nice list is Carrie White question seven red Gold and Green, a book cover that has a wonderful Christmas feel to it. Now this was really easy for me to come up with an answer for this question. I am going to say Hogfather by Terry Pratchett. This is probably one of my favourite, if not my favourite Christmas novel that I've come across so far. I am currently reading Nosferatu by Joe Hill but I cannot wait to um, start off with Hogfather. This is going to be like be like a reread for me. That I've actually this is going to be the second time I've actually read this novel. It's uh, a, a fantasy novel that um, is set in Terry Pratchett's world. is um, made up 
universe called the Disc Worlds, which is pretty much like our own, but with some fantasy twist to it. And it takes our Christmas holiday as we know it right now and um, puts a unique fantasy twist on it in only a way that Terry Pratchett can do. This is full of loads of um, wit, charm, and um, I love it to bits. All the characters in this are amazing, whether they are good, whether they are bad, or whether they are somewhere in between. This book is amazing, and if you haven't read it, you are doing yourself a massive disservice. Go and pick it up, go and read it, go listen to it, watch the TV miniseries or movie or whatever it is. Go and watch this um, story in any way you can. It is amazing, it really is. And I don't know why I'm doing this all the time. <laughs> Question eight. A book or series you love so much, you want everyone to find under their Christmas tree this year so they can read it and love it too. This is a no-brainer for me. I am gonna say Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. This is my second favorite novel of all time since I've started reading on a regular basis since 2017. This book is amazing, it really is, and I am planning hopefully to reread it sometime next year. I'm not sure when, maybe next month, I'm not sure. But this book is so incredible, it really is. There is a there is a TV series based on it as well. Um, that is incredible, it really is. And um, it will never get boring at miniseries, it will always be good. But this book is fantastic, it is so funny. Even though it does um, mention like angels and demons and hell and heaven a lot. But it doesn't like ram religious beliefs down your throat. It does it in such a good, fantastical way, because it's a fantasy book. This book is incredible and everyone should read it and enjoy it and appreciate it for what it is. Yeah, that's how I choose. I mean, that's how I, um, that's what I choose. The um, Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. And I've got to tag some people now. I'm going to tag my usual suspects, which are Kayla Lenzen and Lady Jane Books. I am going to be tagging also Reading and Whatnot, Book Binge, and and um, Loveless Degrees from Tiffany, uh, from uh, Loveless Degrees. I don't want to bombard everyone with loads of tags and everything like that. Uh, but um, if you've watched this video, and you've enjoyed the questions and the video as a whole and the tag as a whole. I tag you if you want to do it, just say that I tagged you. And before I go, as always, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder about the readathon that me and several booktubers will be doing next month, which is called a Bookworms New Year's Readathon. I will put a picture up here and the link will be down below. And it's just a fun, quirky way of you being able to have, um, I mean, being able to pick up any book that you maybe have wanted to read but you haven't had a chance to read or maybe a genre that you've been curious about but wasn't sure whether it would be your jam or not this is a fun and unique way of actually giving you guys that a chance and um yeah it's just a fun way there's loads of prompts in it my announcement video goes into detail about all the individual prompts and the rules and all that type of stuff if you have any questions about the readathon please comment down below and I will do my best to answer your questions. So that's it guys, that is the festive Christmas book tag. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment down below and consider subscribing to my channel. I upload videos every Monday and Friday and uh, throughout December only, I will be uploading a third video every Wednesday. This is gonna be a um, Christmas related book tag. But I'm only gonna be doing that through December so um but um, if you do subscribe to my channel please click on the little bell notification just so it gives you a reminder about whenever i whenever i upload videos and with all that said have a merry christmas and i will see you all in my next video